not one, not two, not three, but four times the Lord has brought this scripture to me, and I'm going to read it to you. Matthew 7, 24 through 27 says, Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Now, if you listened to me yesterday, I talked about hearing and listening. Here it is again this morning, but the story about building the foundation has come to me four different times in four different ways. He says, and the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like the foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against the house and it fell and great was the fall of it. The idea here is that no one is exempt from the storm. We're all going to go through a storm, but are we going to survive the storm? And that will depend on our hearing the word, obeying, and building everything that we have and know on the rock, on the true rock, Jesus Christ. James 1.22 says, Be doers of the word and not only hearers of the word. And how all this is just coming to me is just so encouraging. It's like the timeliness of God right when your soul and spirit needs a specific feeding, he provides it to you. Now, I want to talk about obeying, and part of obeying also would include just doing. I want to read this to you, what, what it said, and it says that radical obedience does not seek to comply to the minimal standards, but pursues extravagant, lavish fulfillment. If Jesus says, sell all, then we sell all immediately. It is about being obedient to his word and his plan for our life, and I'm guilty because I'm going through a storm right now. And you know what I did yesterday? I complained. I mean, I really complained. But I haven't really complained, complained in a long time. But I could feel that ickiness, that goo of just that complaining, negative spirit. Just, just trying to reside all over me. And I was talking to God last night. And I was talking to him about this storm, about this thing, about this situation. And... I realized that I was trying to complain to him about what was going on. And you know what he spoke to, me, to my spirit? He said, where you are right now is what's going to set you up for where you're going. So why would I complain about the storm that I'm in if I know that it's part of the preparation to the next season? Wow. So I want to be a hearer of a word. I also want to listen, which means to obey and then building all my faith and trust on the rock, Jesus Christ, realizing that he provided us the Holy Spirit. We're not exempt from that storm, remember, but it's where we've built our heart, our faith, our trust, and our obedience. And he says, if, he says, if mine does them be like the wise man who built his house on the rock, everyone who hears these words and does them, will be like this person. I want to survive the storm, don't you? I want to build my foundation on the rock. And the one thing I want to stop doing is I want to quit complaining because I've heard this before. If you complain, you remain. If you praise, you be raised. And in Psalm, David said these words that he waited with bated breath, which means anticipation on what the Lord is going to do next. The storm is so rough you can't even see. Have you ever been somewhere where the rain is so hard you can't see to drive that you have to pull over? Right now, it may just be one of those times where we have to pull over and wait. But knowing that we are founded on the rock and being obedient, lavishly, extravagantly obedient to what his word says and what his spirit tells us to do.